the light, it's the light, it's the light, yeah, talking in the light, yeah, walking in the light, huh, yeah, you check it, countdown songs, huh, word of God, 109, don't tell me you ain't got time, don't tell me you can't listen, don't tell me you can't read, it's the word of God, take the time, make the time, you don't gotta rhyme it, you don't gotta find it, you just gotta read it, you gotta live it, you gotta do it, you gotta be it, you don't, then don't, you do, and go to heaven. Because if you don't, <laughs> you go to hell. Yeah, you better believe it. The Word of God. Hold not thy peace, O God, God of my praise. <laughs> For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. Yeah, they have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They lie, they lie, they always lie, the deceitful and the wicked, they'll lie, lie, lie. But you walk in the light. They compass me about also with words of hatred. <laughs> and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they are my adversaries. But I give myself unto prayer. Huh, yeah. Don't give me this, don't give me that, don't give me this, don't give me that. Give me that, or give me that. But you got this, knock it off. Give it to God. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Ha! Huh. Every time I give them love, they give me evil. Ha! Huh. You love them anyways. For God so loved the world, you know. You've heard the story. You've seen the man. You know what his plan. So don't tell me you can't love him. God did. You do it. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. Yeah, you watch it, man. When the day comes and he's got Satan on his right hand, he's going to find out what it's like to not have the right man in the right place at the right time. Because guess what? When you got Satan on your right hand, you in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong man. <laughs> you better believe it. And when he shall be judged, let him be condemned. And let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Ho! Oh, check it, it's the word of God. You don't mess with the word of God. <laughs> sounds tough, sounds rough. Sounds like I don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. And let them seek their bread out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labor. And let there be none, none, you hear me? None, to extend mercy unto him. Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Ho, oh, sounds tough, sounds rough, and I thought I was one bad, <laughs> you know. We won't go there. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Huh. Uh, I don't want to say it, but you know, sounds like being a mother's son. <laughs> it wasn't a good thing for that man. <laughs> don't do evil. Word of God's tough. It can be rough. It can be mean. It can show you what he's seen. And if it's like that, you don't want to be like that. Let them be before the Lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Ha! Cut them off. But let God do it. You don't do it. You can't pick it. You can't choose it. You don't know who is it. You don't know who was it. You don't know who did it. Let God do it. Because he remembered not to show mercy but persecuted the poor and needy man that he might even slay the broken in heart. You take care of that poor man. You take care of that needy man. You be merciful. You take care of the broken in heart. Then you won't fall into the place when you got Satan on your right hand. You won't be one of them. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. Check it. You listen. You take it. You know what it says. It says, knock it off. It says, get real, get right. You bless, you don't curse. You don't tell them how bad they are. You tell them how good God is. Get it together. It's time. Psalm 109. 
as he clothed himself with a cursing like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water and like oil into his bones. Don't tell me you got an N word. Don't tell me you got an F word. If you can even say the word, then you know what? You're going straight to hell with it. Because it says that with cursing was like a garment and you kept putting it on and putting it on and doing it and doing it. Don't give me that N word. Don't give me that F word. Don't give me any of them words. It's a curse. Don't do it. It's like water. It ain't working. Let it be unto him as the garment which covers him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Yeah, you cinch it up, you tighten it up, you try to stick it back in together, and guess what? It don't hold. Let this be the reward of mine adversary from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God, the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good. Because of your mercy, God, not because I'm good, but because of your mercy, deliver thou me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. It hurts. I don't like to hear it. I don't like to know it. I don't like to show it. I don't like to feel it. I don't like it. You take care of me, God. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as the locust. I've been beat down. I've been stomped down. I've been stomped on. I've been stomped around. I've been thrown up. I've been thrown down. And you know what? We're throwing it down now in prayer. We're giving it there, leaving it with God, so he can take it where it needs to go. I am, my knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth of fatness. I've gotten skinny. I've gotten mini. I don't got it. I ain't laying around on some couch you getting fat. But I've been praying. I've been saying. I've been talking. I've been fasting. I've been doing. I've been living it. And God... I became also the approach unto them when they looked upon me and they shake their heads and said, ha, what good is it of him to be a Christian? Why, he used to be with man like us. Huh, yeah, he thought he was tough, thought he was rough. Now he's one of them with God. You take care of it, God. Huh. You give it to him, you give it to him, you give it to him, you show him, you teach him. You be with us, oh God, who trust in your name. Help me, O Lord, my God, save me according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, that you, not them, you, O God, you've done it, huh. and I trust in you. Let them curse, but bless you, thou me. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion. Let them put down with confusion. Let them get down with confusion. Let them be around in confusion. Yeah, you give them confusion. Because they're confused. As with a mantle. <laughs> yeah, you lay down on them. You stomp them with confusion. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor and say them who... Those that condemn his soul. When you're poor, when you're needy, when you got it, when you don't, when they talk about you, when they walk about you, when they don't want to hear you, when they don't want to see you, when they don't want to give you what you need, what you can't give, because you've been pushing that cart around, you know, and you ain't got no tent, you ain't got no place to live. Guess what? God sees, God knows, God hears, God's there. And you know what? Jesus been there. So don't you oppress the poor and needy. You remember you were once one. Yeah. God hears the cries of the poor and needy. You better be taking care of them. You better be taking care of yourself because the word of God. He's going to take it. He's going to use it. He's going to use you. And he's going to make it real because you better check it. Or he's going to check you out. He's going to check and see what you're all about.